Welcome back. We're pulling up the back of the laundry house. We heard they came back tonight, today. And we're just gonna go down here and see if we got media left. Everyone wants to know that's, that doesn't live in this country and has curiosity what's still going on until we find, looks like there's nothing going on. So we heard today that I guess they don't, they can't confirm. I don't know what they can't confirm. I know they confirmed the teeth, but I don't know if they can't confirm confirm his bones. So we, we need to know that before this case is closed because we got another case I want to get on, but I'm not going to get on that until we get this solved. So people have said that, uh, He's still alive. I don't really think so. They got the teeth. And we just, they have enough details to say they know. So it's coming up here. We're just sneaking up to make sure there's no scragglers hiding to jump out. So we got to be quiet. It looks like the media has died down. So we're just here special media is here to check up on the regular media and I see a live camera across the street oh, so he sits there watching yeah he's right there we've got it looks like that way oh yeah. there's another one back behind her yeah, that's the same. But there's there's still I guess he's going to be there forever. Maybe he just moved into the house. Hey, we should try to buy this house. For what? Do a podcast inside Brian's room. Oh. A permanent podcast. That'd what be you? gross. Oh, it'd be cool. There's the Mustang. And there's the truck that Chris and Brian came back in today. Brian? Roberta. Oh, well, no. <laughs> she's the lookalike. Oh. oh. Didn't you see the news? Oh, yeah. I... She's a lookalike. She does oh, impersonations of Brian. But that's what they. The police, look at this. No media down here. Wow, it's lightening up. It's almost over. We're going to get on to the next case as soon as they get out some more details. So we, uh, we need to get, we should have done live. We're going to get out here. Whoa. Yeah, as you speak. We just went by Publix. I was trying to interview some Publix employees, but there was none outside. And I don't know if I'll get in trouble if I go inside. Hey, were you friends with Brian Laundry? What's up? Were you friends with Brian Laundry? No. Oh, because you live back here by him? Well, I live a couple streets down. Oh, okay. Well, just wondered like if you knew him. Because some people are still looking for him. Some people think he died. But... Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, Sorry. well, you have a good night. You too. He was running from something. Did you see, <laughs> Did the, you see the sled? sled? He was running from somebody. Gotta get home. <gasps> was that Brian with a wig? <laughs> he gained some weight. <laughs> well, that means he, ain't, he hasn't been in the woods. We need to head over here. Oh, you know what? What? Nothing. We might have to take a break. And come back. Because I see something up there. Oh, we gotta get in the right lane to turn. Is this enough? Is this a turn lane? No. Oh my. Oh. Oh, no, don't pull behind me. 
We've lived here how many years? Oh, We've I, been up and down this I thought road. This was a, you <laughs> can't I thought this was a double turn. No. <gasps> Hope a cop doesn't see us. Why? We're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> oh, that's what you think. You can back up. I well. <laughs> I was going to sell because you're not live. Oh shoot! I better get my camera lower. I forgot. Actually, this is all a joke. The uh, camera's on a swing arm being held by the passenger for safety reasons. Uh, I gotta stop. We're gonna pause it real quick. I gotta stop and do something real quick. Because <laughs> I don't wanna say it. Okay, I need a Slurpee. <laughs> I knew it. I think every, I think everybody knows. Well, I didn't want to say it because everyone would say, "Oh, you're having too much sugar." I just. You've been drinking more water though lately. I will. Yeah, say yeah, that. yeah. That's so the you're fine. You that's deserve the, a Slurpee today. That's the ticket. I didn't want to admit it, but maybe I need one. Hold my, on. Hopefully, my, it's fixed by now. <gasps> this is oh, the one no. that. Oh no. Go on and find out. Better not be broken. Okay, not I'll be right back. Yeah. It was, it's, it's doing a defrost. Oh what are the odds of it doing a defrost? I don't know what I'm going to do now. Okay, unless we go to the other one. Back, you know. I need that thing. I'll, I'll go in and get it. I need it now. Well, you're going to have to wait like, a few minutes. Now that I saw the machine, I need one. <laughs> Are you drooling? <laughs> Where's the cliff? Let's see. The clearest one? <laughs> All the way down there. I didn't say clearest. Oh, I thought. I said closest. Oh, yeah. I just didn't make sense myself. What the heck was I thinking? That's right. I'm never wrong. <sighs> I had a Doug moment. Excuse me. Now this is going to ruin the whole video. Why? Because do you know how far we got to go down to that one? If you want it that bad, let's just go for it. Otherwise, you're going to be wanting it and wanting it. What's your favorite flavor? What do you think? I don't know. I never pay attention. I only drink the Coke. Coke? You don't mix them? No. Really? You don't mix a Slurpee. Yes, you can. Unless you're two years old. No. Well, I don't drink them, but... People do mix them still. To get a different mixture of flavor. Now, now the whole... This whole mojo... The whole mojo is gone for the night. Now I've got nothing left. Tank's empty. Man, that screwed it up. I'm so parched. My, I can't even talk. My lips are sticking together. They're dry again. I haven't had a Slurpee today. Going through withdrawals of Slurpees. <laughs> oh, you can tell that one of the giggles is back. So we're, we're now, yeah, I had the, all and I had it all planned out until we saw the 7-Eleven. Now, did you forget everything else? Yeah, I had <laughs> you had Slurpee on your mind. No, I had this whole plan. Now I can't even remember what the plan was. Get your Slurpee and maybe it will come back to you. No, the plan was you're gonna go through the reserve at night with a flashlight. I'm gonna drop you off, and then I'm gonna drive around to the Venice side, pick up on the north. We're gonna meet. I gotta pick up on the north side oh, okay. of Venice. Mm -hmm. Sure. Just don't take any water because that's water's overrated. 
when you're in the woods. So now we're here in Northport, Florida, and we're like, I don't even know what we're gonna do. I guess I'm gonna have to open the other case. We're gonna have to go over and catch this guy. I, I can't even tell the people what I'm doing because we gotta catch him and interview him and watch his little lying eyes. His little lying eyes are gonna start to roll back and forth and he's gonna piss his pants when I start asking him questions. Because we're gonna tell him the cold case is reopened. And what do you have to say about that? And he's going to piss his pants on the spot. Or slam the door in your face. No, I'm going to I'm gonna catch him walking. Well, first, we need to make sure... Oh, I'll find him. Everything's accurate that we pulled up. Well, it's a good thing we didn't go live now. All right. Are you watching us doing nothing? Drive around. Look at the cars. What is that buzzing? I keep hearing buzzing. Well, it's not that. Oh, oh shit. Thanks for the warning. I, I always hear a buzz. I know, I'm trying to figure it out. Wait, is it in the ceiling? Oh wait, I hear it. It's this little speaker up here. No, it's not. I, I heard it right here. <laughs> you heard a buzz in the vent? There's something, yeah. The air conditioning vent. There's no buzz you coming out of there. This is an electronic buzz. Right there. Oh wait, is that a microphone thing? See, you got us all sidetracked again. I didn't. Me. Okay, what were we talking about? Didn't you want to get your Slurpee and then check what into is the... this buzz in the ceiling? That little. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Look up on your phone. No. Look up on your phone, the speaker and the ceiling. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, this has that rear entertainment. I'll bet it's on. I'll bet that's a speaker for the rear entertainment. Um. We gotta edit. We gotta delete all that. Yeah, but when you get back and you throw all the videos together, yeah, so you forget. You'll, yeah. We gotta cut, cut and splice. That takes even longer. <gasps> this guy wants to race. Oh. He doesn't know we have a. This has a Corvette motor. We got a six O baby. I can eat that little. Thing for breakfast. <laughs> oh my God. Are you serious? Spell the dust. officer watch, watching. We didn't really race. Um, he he wasn't he was still at the stop so I stop lane. Because we actually we don't speed. We don't race too well. That was a joke. I wasn't racing. And 
we don't have a scanner on in the car because it's illegal. See, look at this, how slow we're going, all these cars passing us. We're doing the speed. Well, yeah. Uh, it's illegal to have a scanner. Oh, that guy wants to race. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're just waiting. <laughs> no, I'm, I, 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 that's a joke, I don't race. But uh, it's illegal to have a scanner in your car while you drive in Florida. That's what I've heard. Because they don't want criminals to be able to listen to know when someone's coming after them. <laughs> Look at this. Another car passing us. See? You think it, we're going fast, but we're actually not. We don't break the law here. We're just going for a midnight drive in Northport, Florida. Actually, we're coming up to Port Charlotte, Florida, which is south of Northport, Florida. Where, what are we doing? I don't oh, know. wait, I know. Spit it out. The it's a 7-Eleven up here. Oh, okay. We gotta, we gotta keep our... Just keep, keep your mind focused on 7-Eleven right now before you forget again. Concentration. <laughs> People are gonna get on here and look and say, Brian Laundry. what does this have to do with Brian Laundry?" Well, we're still on the hunt. Are you kidding me? What? Uh, a red light? Take a right. Can you get in? No, it's too far. You gotta go all the way down and do a U-turn. We gotta get that buzzing off. Hey, it's time for a red light challenge. Uh, Who is our current president? For 50 cents. I know who it is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Next. You lost. <laughs> no. How about a video challenge? Here's the screen. Tell us what's on it. <laughs> if you can see it, you get the prize. Ouch. What's the prize? Okay, I've got to pause it because I've got to do some things here. I've got to get, take care of some stuff. Get your slurpee. No, we're not saying that anymore. Okie dokie. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard, Brian Anton is uh, in Moab, Utah. He's out there checking on those cases of all the bodies found. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back out of the 7-Eleven. And I was talking about Brian, uh, Brian Enton, and he's in uh, Utah. We went by him when he was get taken off, and he's out there investigating those cases. But I don't know if you guys, uh, J.B. Bruno and Brian Enton is the, are the two best. Those are the ones we like to watch. Those are the two masterminds of the media. But those guys are actually, uh, they, they, they're actually, I think they're friends. They actually talk a lot and you'll see them on TV. Mm -hmm. But we gotta stop, we gotta make a stop. We gotta pick something up at Walmart. And I just looked up to see if we could go in there with the camera and it said, that they do, it's un unauthorized videotaping is not allowed. I don't know how they do that because you see those videos all the time. Are we gonna just? Uh, well, I'll just bring my camera. Act like you're talking to someone. I told you. Just hold it normal. Act like you just keep talking to someone. Well, we're. Far from normal. 
<laughs> what time is it? Well, I think everybody knows. Well, you're far from normal. Oh. <laughs> what time is it? 8.27. 8.27? Okay, they're not closed yet. Not until 11. Okay, we're, we'll be back. We're going to head in the store and see if we can sneak the camera in there. Okay, we're here at Walmart. I think you guys might be right. Brian might be alive. I think I spotted him here. Right there. Oh, wait, that might be Mrs. Laundry. My mistake. They look so much alike. Twins, I'm telling you, they're twins. We're still in the hunt. Here we go again. I just got a message about uh, that only the teeth matched. We need to find out if this is true. And how many, we need to, what we need to know is how many teeth. Because if it's all his teeth in a skull, then we know it was Brian. Now if it's just a couple, then it's like, that would be easy to disguise. But I just read the FBI says it was confirmed, you know, a week ago that it was his. We just need to. This is. Because if this is true, then we need to go way under. We need to go back to where we thought we saw him and investigate. Because I, I, still, I don't see how it couldn't be. If they confirmed it. It was his teeth. Unless it was just like two on one side. And how can you fake it in a skull? It just, we need to know because that's going to change everything. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stop videoing and go do some surveillance at a different location. So I'm going to have to go back and look online and see what's going on because we don't want him to slip away if, if it's if this is all fake I don't know if the story's fake or if the skull is fake because that's going to change everything then we're going to be uh, you know what I'm going to actually shut this off and I got to go into our location see if the person we were looking at is still there or if they skated out of town so we'll be back but I can't show the video of where we're going but I'll keep you informed okay this is Doug live Northport I'm back I just did some checking and read up on the FBI's report and they said it's it's confirmed they I saw a whole document so we're not going to leave the case we're going to stick with it to see you know what's going on and make sure everything's finalized so what I'm actually going to go on to the next case tomorrow and I don't know if I'll be able to post it because I'm not going to do it until I catch him under surprise. Under surprise. <laughs> surprise? Under. <laughs> until I catch him under. That makes sense. Right. Oh. I, I'm going to do an interview, but it's got to be surprise. I can, he can't know I'm coming. So when I come and do an interview and catch him, you're going to see, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the documentation because it's amazing, but I'm going to try to catch him leaving work and catch him off guard and start to question him. And then you're going to see where I see the guilt and the lies in his face. You're all going to see it too. It's, it's, it's so obvious. And I can't believe he got off and didn't get charged with anything. And I'll give you all the details once I do the interview. I just don't want to talk about it now because I don't want him to see if 
someone tips them off. So we'll be back with that interview. I hope I get it tomorrow. I'm going to be staking it out every single day until I catch them off guard and get an interview. So I, I, I don't think I can post my stake out. I'll, I'll record it for you and I'll show you the whole thing. But I just don't want to tip them off. So I'll stick with this case. I'll still give you updates on this case with the Brian Laundry, but we'll, I'm moving on to the next case. So I'll let you know tomorrow if we have anything more about Brian. I'm, I'm still on it. We're on the hunt again. The special media <laughs> is still going. So stay tuned for more.